Where were you born? Orlando, Florida. And where were you raised exactly? I was raised in Orlando, Florida. And where do you reside these days? I'm still in Florida, Orlando, Florida. Certain part of Orlando you represent? Yeah, I'm from, I'm from Malibu, 700 block of Albany. Now, what was that really like back then? Like some shit you see on movies. <laughs> nah, like our neighborhood was lit back then, so it's like, for real, for real, like, that's where it was at. Able to describe it any more than that or just leaving it there? Nah, like, just a lot of everything going on in a little neighborhood, you feel me? It's, it's a little small circle, but it's like, everybody know everybody, and it's like, however far you take it, that's that's what it's like. You make your own day, you feel me? Whatever you do, that's on you, you feel me? Now, what age range were you when you were living in that area in particular? That neighborhood there. No, I came up right now since since Pampers. <laughs> Till when? Did you ever leave? Yeah, I never really like. I always can like leave. I'm just saying like that's why that's why I'm from. I ain't never. I never from nowhere else. Right, but I didn't know if you just lived in that neighborhood for no, a I certain never, length of no. time. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't even live over there. I'm from there. Okay. I did there uh, coming up shit, but it's like, personally, me, when I was able to move and stuff and got older and shit, I never stayed up. Yeah. Okay. So I guess what I was trying to ask you was what range of age do you think you were in that area for? Oh, like. Like, would you say Pampers to 10 years old or 15 uh, years old or 18 years, you know? Yeah. Pampers to about 18. Okay. So, When's the last time you went back to that same neighborhood? I try not to, you know what I'm saying, go as much as we used to be, but I'd be over there. Like, I, mean, I was over there, shit. I was over there a couple of days ago. <laughs> Have things changed in that neighborhood since you were 18? Yeah, because it done went through so much, so it's like, now it's like it's more chill and shit, you feel me? But it's like, you know what I'm saying? This, this, this where it's at. This, 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 this. You know what I'm saying? This, this, this where you get me. This what, this what gave me the game. You feel me? What do you think got things to be more chill now, though, than what it used to be? Are you able yeah, to pinpoint that? Yeah, everybody going to jail. Everybody like catching cases. And people getting older, getting kids and shit. You feel me? Like, but it's like it's still going on though. Like. But to a lesser extent, you feel me? Have you mentioned this neighborhood in your music? Yeah, all the time. And is it just uh, a punchline, various lyrics on different songs, or have you actually made a, have you dedicated a song to it? Yeah, maybe? I dedicated my first tape to it. It's called 700 Ways. I dedicated my tape to uh, at our neighborhood. What was the reaction you got from your neighborhood to that project? Oh, you know, we loved it. We, you know, that was our shit. That's what, that's what, that's what, here you go. It's us. You feel me? Now, when it comes to Orlando, generally speaking, what do people get wrong about it? Is it something people say, but it's not true? Yeah, they be like, oh, that Disneyland shit, you feel me? Now, West Orlando, that shit ain't like, that shit just like your hood, like, probably worse. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, like, for it to be so small, it should be like, you know what I'm saying? Good or bad, you have to take it, it's the city, like, that shit, it, it ain't Disneyland, you know what I'm saying? Best thing about Orlando, in your opinion? Best thing about Orlando. Yep. The city you were born, Club raised. Club life, I, probably, I don't know. I probably say 
nightlife a little bit, but it, don't, it ain't too long. But it's like, I don't know. I don't know, I, th I think it's just the people, the whole vibe, like. I don't know. That's, that's tough. On the opposite end of the spectrum, worst thing about Orlando, if anything. Niggas be telling on each other and shit. You know what I'm saying? Telling on each other and getting passes. Yeah. And for time reference, it's November 2021 now. Okay, now I want to do some of these questions here. Are you able to say you're from Orlando without actually saying you're from Orlando? Yeah, yeah. You, what, yeah. What's the hint there? How do you say you're from Orlando without actually saying you're from Orlando? Yeah. You be like, um, I say to me, you can be like, you can say, my dog lost his life to a pussy nigga. Then the other person gonna say, how a pussy nigga killed a real nigga. Then I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta be from Orlando, you feel me? Real nigga shit. What's the most Orlando response when asked, what do you do for work? What's the most what? What's the most Orlando response when asked, what do you do for work? <laughs> oh, rap. I'm about to, I rap, bro. I, um, I'm about to drop a tape. I got a few labels looking at me. You know what I'm saying? All oh, that bullshit. You know you're from Orlando if you have this in your home. You said what? Fill in that blank. You know you're from Orlando if you have this in your home. If you got this in your home. Yeah. What's something you would find in a home in Orlando? You know you're from Orlando if you have fill in the blank in your home. I don't know, cause we like, everywhere's like, we don't got no addicts and shit, like like some places and shit, you know what I'm saying? But if you find. You know you're from Orlando if you have fill in the blank in your home. I don't know. That's a good one, though. I don't know. Okay. I don't know that one. That's a good one. What's the craziest thing that's happened to you in Orlando? Man, that's one for everything. Like, <laughs> crazy thing happened. Man, I don't remember the craziest thing that happened off top, but. That's too much crazy shit. Okay. okay. What's the one place you wish had a drive through in Orlando? <laughs> um, I would say flyers, but I wish oh, 407 Chef, he got a drive through. I wish 407 Chef had a drive through. Now, for somebody watching this that's not familiar with that spot, what is that spot exactly? New food spot, you know what I'm saying? Most people be familiar with like flyers and like other different little food spots, but four seven chef, five. Yeah. What do you uh what do you personally order? What do you personally order when you're there? The loaded potato with the shrimp and and steak and shit in it. You feel me? Is that something that's already on the menu like that, or is that something you customize? No, that's on the menu. Okay. What's a spot in Orlando you miss? Maybe no longer there anymore. Um, damn. What's a spot in Orlando you miss no longer there anymore? The tunnel. I like, when well, the tunnel or something. You feel me? That was a ride? 
Huh? Was that a ride at Wet n' Wild or? No, Wet n' Wild. No, the tunnel is a club. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. It's a nightclub. I don't fuck with you, but like, when I Wet n' Wild Street, it's a water park. So when you're saying Wet n' Wild, are you saying the tunnel is next to Wet n' Wild, or you meant both of these places? The tunnel and Wet n' Wild. Yep, I meant both of them. Okay. Who is the spokesperson of Orlando? A spokesperson? Yeah, is there one? Is there one that people look and point out and say, that's the spokesperson of Atlanta, that, I, I, Orlando? Nah. Okay. Anything you would say to someone watching this about to visit Orlando for the very first time? They've heard about it, they've researched it, haven't had a chance to go yet, but they're about to. Anything you would tell them? About to visit at Orlando for the very first time. I just be like, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I tell them that Disney World is in Kissimmee, it's not in Orlando. So if you're coming down here to go to Disney World, you have to go to Kissimmee. Now, if you feel like you've answered this question already, then you can skip it or add on to it. And if not, feel free to provide an answer. But... Generally speaking, how does one stay safe visiting Orlando? Same way you stay safe, everybody else know how to move. You know what I'm saying? Bring whatever you need to bring to stay safe. You feel me? Don't just link up with anybody. You know what I'm saying? Avoid the let outs, like after the club let outs. Avoid that shit, you know what I'm saying? Anything else you want to mention about Orlando or question I didn't ask, people want to know about it. Nah, man, Orange County, West Orlando, Florida, man. It's beautiful. Pull up.